Hello my loves, and welcome back to our crazy teardrop build. Last week has been one of very long work hours on this thing, and as this project gets closer to the end, I'm quite impressed with what we managed to accomplish so far. <laughs> I'm happy to share that the most difficult part of this build is now behind us, and from this point on, the last steps should unravel quite fast. I invite you to witness what we've been doing from dawn to dusk and even sometimes to the middle of the night to get to that point. Looking back at this footage, I find it deeply satisfying to watch us installing all of those boards. It was quite a challenge to fit all the pieces to accommodate the round shape of the camper, but the result is quite worth the struggle.
I think we both underestimated how much we would be sending down this whole thing. But again, like with any project, everything takes about twice the time we think it will take. That is definitely a lesson that needs to be remembered when it's time to plan out our work days. I don't know if some of you noticed, but we are basically building this teardrop like we would a boat. Since the wood will be out in the elements, we wanted to make sure it will be well protected and thoroughly waterproof while also staying visible to create this very unique outlook. That's why we decided to make a fiberglass shell that will provide both solidity and a strong barrier from the weather. We don't have much experience with the process of fiberglass, but Rémy had at least some experience with resin, which can be very tricky to properly use. Since it was the scariest part of the project, we made sure to prep our surface very well to avoid the epoxy resin from seeping through the little cracks and nooks of the wood. We also applied a base coat of resin over the entire camper so the wood would soak up as much resin as possible before we put on the fiberglass cloth. And then the time came to jump headfirst into this. You'll see how it went. Making the corners went surprisingly well, even though we left little bumps here and there in some places. It was nothing another round of sending couldn't fix.
Mixing small batches at a time, we took countless hours to carefully put on that first layer of fiberglass. We felt a sense of relief when this big step was complete. After that, it was time to sand again and apply multiple more thin layers of epoxy to properly seal everything and ensure a smooth finish. Instagram. And here it is, all shiny and glamorous. Good craftsmanship takes so much willpower sometimes, but again, it is well worth it. We can't wait to show you the final result, which we'll post in our next video. Thank you so much for watching, and until then, have a good week. <laughs>